All right, what's up, Metascam2488 Neo Hippies? I'm Paige Anderson, and I'm here with a new video. This one's gonna be more information on the vocal processor. I had an issue uh, with a song that I was working on. I was in creative mode and didn't want to come out of creative mode to get analytical and start tweaking stuff. So I had a situation where I set up some processing for my microphone that was going through the first lab. And I realized that I didn't have the processing anymore. And instead of, you know, like I said, stepping out of creative mode and getting into the analytical mode, I stayed creative and I just kept moving forward so that I can get the product done. I was working on this song, I think last month, and I believe it was live. All right, so I did a vocal I was looking around for something. And I was playing with the uh, auto pitch to see how deep I could go with it. And I got pretty good with it. So, you know, I did another vocal with the auto pitch. I'm in need of your love, yeah. And if you notice, I have processing. You can hear a little bit of headphones, but not so much. You can hear more headphones on the second pass than you can hear on the first pass. But when I got to the point where I needed to rap to fill in that other 16 bars or eight bars, whatever it was, I noticed that the processing was gone. Now, in between doing the rap part, I did go back in and fix some of the drum stuff and went in and started sampling and resampling and getting rid of stuff. And I more than likely changed my recording source because when I got back in to sing I had no processing so well to rap I had no processing like right here well let me take you to the river where I lay my problems down living where you can hear the headphones and you can hear a lot of the room I do have it lower so that it doesn't pierce anybody's ear but I noticed that the processing was gone. I once again did not want to step out of creative mode. I wanted to stay in <laughs> that creative mode and not go analytical because analytical changes up your whole mindset and you end up not being as creative with the thing and, and you kind of throw it away. So later I came back and tried to find out what was the problem go to input if you've had this problem go to input and you'll see here that you have recording source i'm always using this thing way 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 different from from most people i'm probably using it aggressively like they thought someone would use it so i'm always like i'm always in here you know Okay, let's take all these vocals and put them on this track. And let's take all of the drums and put them on that track. And, you know, that that's kind of how I get down with this because I know I can do it. And I may have gotten into record source and came back to wet dry. Now, I'm going to turn the microphone on that's connected to the verse lab. Now check it out. I'm going to move away from my podcast mic and move on to my condenser microphone. All right. So now I am on the condenser microphone that is connected to the Roland verse lab. I must have put it on wet dry thinking that, okay, it's going to get the signal anyway. And that's not the truth. You have to, have to, have to, if you want to hear your processing when you are performing vocally, you have to, have to, have to go to wet, you see the difference, or dry. Because if you go to wet, dry, you heard the room, the room just came back in. Everything that's going on, my air conditioner's on, my children are playing in the background. You probably can't hear that now because it's getting a little bit late, but everything is happening and you can hear it in the microphone so remember if you get into the situation that i was in where you're trying to stay creative and everything and you <laughs> don't hear that processing just put it in your mind that 
I'm on wet dry. I need to be on wet or dry, not wet dry. <laughs> and once you get that down, you'll just start to have it in your muscle memory that even though I'm doing all this crazy stuff and I don't want to step out of creative mode, just wet or dry, do your rapping or do your singing and then move on to doing whatever else you were going to do. Um, I do have it kind of aggressive because it is loud in my house, but always remember that. All right. And another thing, do you hear that reverb in the background? You can, if you want, turn that off. And the way you do that is this. You hit shift and the effect. Or mixer for the effect. And as you see, I already turned the delay off. Now, all I want to do is turn off that reverb. And there it is. It's gone. There is another one for the MFX that you can turn off too. There you go. So if you are not wanting to hear the reverb or the delay when you are performing, then you can turn them off or you can have them on. Okay. It's up to you. It's kind of like that delay though. And, uh, the next thing is the reverb. You can put it back. If you want the reverb and delay on, but you want to tailor it to, you can edit them by hitting edit and effect, and you'll find yourself on all three of them, multi effects, reverb, delay. Just click onto it by pressing enter, and you can choose an effect to work with and and start to edit it by pressing the enter button and then going through the different steps in the menu all right just so that you know that you can tailor these things to your taste all right i'm gonna turn it off though because i don't want to hear it and then of course you can go to the reverb which is on and you could choose like the Integra and there's a few other ones in here. Just go through them. And then once you choose one, just start it. doing your edits and, you know, do it to taste. All right. And then the same thing with the delay, you turn it on and it's going to be Choose your type. There's a bunch of types in here. Okay. And once you hit the enter button, you can go ahead and start editing so that it is to your taste. All right. And that's the vocal processor. Now, remember, if you want to turn it on and off, you do it here. Off. Off 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 <laughs> and if you want to edit it go ahead and hit edit and effect our mixer for effect and click them on you turn them on here and you can just start going through them and edit to taste all right i just want you to know these things so that they just become muscle memory and, and you don't have to even think about it just start doing it uh, the other thing is on the vocal track in song mode, you can hit edit and vocal track and find yourself on the multi FX and you can switch it on and start editing that along with all six of these compressors. And once you get to the end of the editing portion, it's going to ask you, do you want to send it out MFX or dry? And you have a choice of the two to send it to. All right. And that is all I wanted to talk about on this video. 
so that you can understand and know the um the effects process a little bit better all right as on the last couple videos if you have watched this far go ahead and leave your man a like if you liked what you saw and if you are this far in the game and you want more content like this go ahead and subscribe so that when I drop a new video, you will get it. And if you are so inclined and you want to give me some advice or leave a comment or ask for a specific um, video, go ahead and leave that in comment section. And that will help YouTube know that my community has a little bit more engagement than, you know, they think and we can get more mv1 people watching our mv1 content you guys have a good one and thank you so much i'm leaving a link to the last video in the card so if you want to watch the last video go ahead and do so it helps your man out thank you so much for the love and you have a good rest of your day